midfield. One can hear the Barbadian accent whenever she's doing cricket commentary. She's even referred to as the Australian Bajan by those who know her since her mother is from Down Under. She's none other than the ebullient sports journalist Alex Jordan, who in her younger days represented Barbados in swimming, golf and squash. And how did she get into media? I'm old enough that when I went to secondary school, I asked to play cricket and they told me rounders for girls. So you all missed out on my talent. Um, so I went about my life and I became a, a sort of radio announcer. I had a radio show on the BBC in London. I had my own morning show, the Alex Jordan Morning Show in Barbados. And I got a call out of the blue one day from Sportsmax after they lost Alexis Nunez to ESPN. They said, can you come and do this live sports show? And I said, y you guys know I don't do TV, nor do I do sports, right? I do radio and I do music. And they said, no, but you could do TV and you could do sports. After her involvement with a popular daily show, the Sportsmax Zone, opportunities followed such as the CPL and other international tournaments. Despite being in the media, Jordan did not pursue journalism, but instead something different. I think I'm a, a great example for people that education is about learning to learn because I did a third world politics degree with languages. I speak five languages. And, uh, <laughs> Name them. Uh, yeah, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and English all the Euro uh, European languages, but well, Latin languages, I should say. But I never studied journalism, not a day, but I always had a very deep voice from the time I was a little girl. So when I was 17, I got a radio show in my summer holidays in Barbados. So I always thought, you know, radio and stuff was gonna be on the cards. And then I had a great grasp of language. You see, language is the thing, and that has been my angle in. It's not been my cricket knowledge. I've had to learn cricket. And what are some of the moments that you have enjoyed as a cricket commentator, cricket um, journalist? What have you enjoyed in terms of um, places that you'd have been to, things that you'd have seen, etc.? Well, I, I don't know how much time have you got. Cricket has taken me to the world. So it's the first time I saw the United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. It took me to New Zealand, it took me to Australia. I've been around the world to watch this beautiful game and I've been so lucky. Um, but I'd have to say some of the most enjoyable moments have been uh, right here at the CPL because um, the spirit of the Caribbean people, the energy, the music, well, that's my thing. That's me going and coming. While Jordan is often seen interacting with fans during matches, she says the older she gets, she prefers being inside the commentary box to describe the action on the field of play. Speaking of commentary, there are some revered analysts that Jordan looks up to that cover the gentleman's game. Ian Bishop, you, you can't really go too far without saying his name. He's such a gentleman. He's super supportive. Uh, I just recently did the GT20 in Canada where I worked with Mike Hazeman, who was very early days. He was even before CPL. He did the Stanford stuff. So he's a veteran in the business and was very kind to me, and I think he's a, a brilliant presenter. You know, there, there are two roles, really, in cricket. There's a lead, which is what I would do, and then there's Color, who is the expert. So he's another lead who I look up to. Mel Jones. I can't, I can't not speak about Mel Jones because I think she's one of the best in the world, one of the best voices. Uh, the way she modulates her voice, the way she tells the story, I think she's incredibly brilliant. But uh, I hope I haven't left them one out. I love you all. People often ask Jordan, what's it like being a woman in a man's world? And she replies wittily saying, the same way it feels to be a woman in a man's world outside of sport. Venod Nawani, Chief Export.